All right, y'all, so we're gonna jump right in. I'm starting off on stretched old hair. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I took my um, spring twist out, and yeah, now I'm doing a bun. <laughs> Don't judge me. But um, yeah, I didn't wash my hair immediately. I never do after I take out twists. So I was like, let me just do a bun or something to my hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a part down the middle section of my hair. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, split off the front from the back section since we are doing a low ponytail and I already previously had like oil and hair milk and stuff like that on my hair so I didn't put any oil on my hair before applying the gel but you definitely can so I'm just spraying down my hair a little bit and detangling it and I'm going to use the edge booster silent gel of course y'all know it is like my newfound favorite gel but um yeah so I'm just going to put that all over the back section and I'm literally just going to brush it and smooth the hair out and add water when I need to add it. I typically like to do styles like this, you guys know, on dirty hair because once the style is done, I'm definitely going to have to wash my hair. So yeah, so I'm just gathering all the hair and smoothing it with my hands and then I'm going to put it into a ponytail. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the front section and I'm literally just going to brush down my baby hairs for later and I did spray my hair with some water and we're just going to smooth that back. When I do low ponytail since my hair is on the shorter side still, I like to do it this way so that it gets really really smooth and sleek and it just works better this way so that's why I'm doing it like this. when you guys are doing ponytails or buns or anything that you're using gel for for a ponytail make sure you are using your hand to smooth the hair down this is a very helpful tip and also it's going to let you know where you have any like bumps or lumps or you know anywhere that you need to smooth out the hair a little bit more so definitely use your hand and you know just apply the gel however you would like and as you guys can see, my hair is really, really sleek and smooth and ready to go. And I'm just like brushing it down, making sure I get it to how I want it to be because like the hair around the ponytail is a little bit shorter. So I was just trying to make sure it was super sleek. And then I went ahead and applied this scarf. I get a lot of questions on where I get this scarf from. I got it from Family Dollars. I believe they do still carry them. So just check your local Family Dollars. I did let my hair set overnight, but you will go right into finishing your ponytail. But I'm going to start off with some Equal Styler Gel, and it is the next day. I like to do my edges before I put on my makeup, so I'm just laying down the foundation of my baby hair with the Equal Styler Gel. And then I like to go back in with the edge control, and I use the edge booster, and then I'll just go back in and, you know, shape them up to my liking. This is a really good tip if you have a hard time, like, laying down your baby hairs. This may work for you. I've been doing it like this for years and my baby hairs last all day. So now I'm just going to take some pink oil moisturizer and I'm literally going to spray it on my hair because gel can make your hair dull. So I'm going to be using the Twisted Up Hair from Expressions and it's really for like Nubian twist or spring twist. But y'all, I thought this hair was so pretty. Like look at it at the ends. It's so beautiful and full and I was like that would make a good ponytail. So three bundles come in a pack so I used one of the bundles and a half of another one and I combined it and that was like the right thickness for me then I just took a hair tie and laid it across and pulled it through so that I could use that to attach to my real hair as you guys can see here so this is just what it looks like it's like the perfect length and everything y'all so cute and bouncy so I just went ahead and attached it to my hair and then like I attached it and I made sure that the ponytail kind of like set on top of my real bun. That way you wouldn't be able to see it. But this hair is really full and thick so if your hair is longer than mine you won't be able to see it at all. So I, I took some bobby pins and just pinned it into place so that it will stay. Although it is secure by the ponytail holder just to be on the safe side. And so I just grabbed a piece out of the ponytail and I'm literally just going to wrap it around the base and pin it into place. 
so that you know it looks more well put together So I decided to go back in and separate some of the ends of the hair to make it a little bit more fuller to my liking and just flip out the ponytail a bit more. Take off my scarf, make sure everything's on point. <laughs> this is how the ponytail turned out, y'all. Look how full and fluffy and beautiful this hair is. And it's synthetic, y'all. Like, oh my goodness, it looks so good. It looks better than the human hair, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I really like this style. It's super cute. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all on my next one. Bye!